you. After the tone, please state your name, followed by the pound sign. You will now be placed into the conference. Welcome, everyone. My name is Claude Gay. I'm a manager of the Marine Spatial Data Infrastructure, working for the Canadian Hydrographic Service for Fisheries and Oceans Canada. And uh, I will, in this presentation, show you a little bit of the work that we've done for MSDI. What is a Marine Spatial Data Infrastructure, which I will call MSDI for short from now on? It is built on the what we call the triple A, which is the authoritative, accessible, and accurate data. It is supported by four pillars, the standards, which ensures the interoperability and the sharing of the data. The second pillar is data in applications and metadata that ensures that data and metadata is discoverable. Third, the infrastructure itself. That's what supports uh, when people are accessing our web presence. It is what they're using that sits behind uh, the applications uh, and supports us. And finally, the fourth pillar is the governance, and it is the last but not least. Uh, without governance, uh, this exercise is a little bit futile. We need to know what we're going to do, how we're going to do it. We need a, a, a build on the expertise that exists and actually uh, ensure people or users that uh, this is for their use. The Marine Spatial Data Infrastructure at the international level, there's the United Nations Committee of Experts on uh, Global Geospatial Information Management. Uh, they have a Marine Geospatial Working Group, as you very well know. There are three advisory bodies to this uh, uh, Marine Geospatial Working Group, uh, ISO, which is the International Standard Organization uh, on Geomatics, the Geoinformation Standards, the Open Geospatial Consortium, OGC. Uh, they have a Marine Domain Working Group, uh, the International Hydrographic Organization, uh, IHO. Uh, they have an MSDI Working Group uh, for Maritime Geoinformation Standards. Uh, about four or five years ago, uh, we, uh, under the MSDI Working Group, uh, in, under a IHO, uh, we did uh, Canada, uh, an MSDI comparative study. It was led by the Canadian Hydrographic Service. It was presented to the MSDI Working Group in January 2016. It is available at the link that you can see on the IHO website. The idea is we wanted to learn what has been done, where people are, how they financed it, what's the best practices, what are the standards used, what it is that were successes and what were failures so we can learn from them. So we did that study for the IHO. Uh, there were 36 member countries uh, that were part of that working group. Uh, if I remember correctly, we had 24 answers from countries that reported they had some kind of an MSDI under development. Hydrography is much more than just nautical charts. Uh, as you can see here, there's the whole suite of S100 products. Uh, CHS has also been involved uh, in the development of the S121 standard, which is uh, paramount in the development of rights, restrictions, and ownership. This is an integral part of what we're trying to do under the MSDI and will govern a whole series of applications that we're producing. The Marine Spatial Data Infrastructure in the federal context, uh, it is governed by the Federal Committee on Geomatics and Earth's Observation, the FCGO, and the Inter 
Departmental Committee of Oceans, ICO. It is in line with the Open Government Directives, and it leverages the work done in the federal government under the Federal Geospatial Platform, the FGP. What is an MSDI for? It is for us within DFO to clean up the house uh, data-wise, metadata and applications. It is tailored to the needs of the marine domain, and it brings in a thematic approach, value-added product, and metadata processes. For the metadata, we conducted an extensive uh, session of training for DFO staffs uh, in, late, in early 2018. Uh, the metadata training materials available on our DFO intranet website, what we call our web presence. Uh, the, internet, the intranet website provided materials, forms, software, presentations, recorded WebEx sessions. The idea is to enable the staff we train to become the next generation of trainer. It supports our provision of data to uh, our own open government initiatives, as well as the, as the MSDI work that we're doing. This is all part of the web presence that uh, we access our MSDI through. The web presence was released after two years of work, and it was developed under uh, Canada's Ocean Protection Plan, uh, UPP, uh, Government of Canada Initiative. It is fully bilingual, uh, WCAG and plain language compatible, meaning it has to, we have, there are rules that we have to follow, and it has to abide by, for blind people, uh, deaf people, has to be plain language compatible, which means we have to use a common language that a 10-year-old would, uh, would understand. Uh, it has been complete, completed in coordination with COMS uh, communications uh, within DFO and uh, our, our colleagues from uh, technology services. It is the authoritative one-stop shop for geospatial data at DFO. The idea is, is as you can see on the right-hand side, which is the main page. Uh, we want people to be able to access the processes, to know what it is they've got to do. It will talk about the governance. It will talk about data management. It will talk about our open government initiatives. This has been designed in a way so that people can access any information they're looking for, at the most with three clicks. Under the last two years of funding, which was the OPP, as I've mentioned before, uh, there were three major applications that we, were, uh, we promised we would provide. The first one is the emergency response. And I've just done screen captures in this presentation to illustrate what it is we've been trying to do. Uh, an emergency response application is to be used by our DFO environmental incident coordinator. It is to be shared between the OPP partners, which is um, Transport Canada, uh, National Defense, Coast Guard, Environment Canada, and DFO. Uh, the idea is that there's a key reporting widget for data dissemination. And the objective of this is a few years back, uh, we were asked to provide data to, uh, to one of our, uh, uh, one other of our departments, which was Transport Canada. And uh, out of 106 data sets, they ended up using only six because they were either at the wrong resolution, they were not standardized, or they didn't have enough metadata to be able to make sense of it. And of all things, that was transferred to a USB key. So the idea was to make this accessible to the multitude of departments so that when an incident occurs, you would be able to identify a zone where the incident occur and get a report of what's available and get the, take the data and leave with it or generate a, a, a report that, you could, that could be used for whatever purpose the incident has provided. That application has been uh, delivered and is uh, currently available for use. Uh, the second application is a DFO Marine Data Viewer. 
Uh, the objective of this one is to actually be not only a catalog, but be a discovery tool for every data set that DFO has, wherever it has it, uh, MSDI, the Open Government Initiatives, or anywhere else, even internally. That's the, the way to display it. So it's a data viewer application for discovery and visualization of DFO data. It is being currently developed for internal DFO use and uh, is almost ready. That one will be released within the next uh, couple of months. Last but not least, uh, the CHS ENC Maritime Charts Viewer. Um, what we wanted to do here is we wanted to provide the look and feel as a base map of the Canadian electronic navigational charts within uh, that application, that, that MSDI environment. So we created a base map layer accessible to the public at lower resolution and within the FO at much higher resolution. So our scientists colleagues could actually get a lot more than what's available out there. We have also implemented um, this lower resolution at um, at the Federal Geospatial Platform and Open Government. We call it NONA 100 for non-navigational uh, 100 uh, meter bathymetry. Uh, that one has been released and is uh, approved as well. And it's actually generated straight out of the Canadian Hydrographic Service servers where we host the data, which is the whole principle behind authoritative data. Again, the funding for MSDI is from various sources. We started on the OPP. We're keeping going under um, MSP, which is the Marine Spatial Planning. Uh, the opportunities here is a publication of interactive bioregional marine atlases, uh, leveraging RGIS online. Uh, the storage of bioregional marine atlas data products, uh, it's not a broad solution. We want to store final data, which are products, uh, it's to facilitate the publication of an atlas uh, data uh, through the various means, which is the open government or MSDI. Uh, we have contracting for that atlas development. There's going to be four regional atlas and one national one. Uh, information on how to publish is offered through our intranet or, or web presence. The MSDI data workflow, uh, uh, this uh, MSDI product that we're generating can serve many masters. As an example, as long as the product uh, can be served on external platform via MSDI server, our user must provide adequate metadata prior to submission. The standard that the Government of Canada has to follow is ISO 19115, 2003 what we call the Harmonized North American Profile, which is a subset of the North American Profile that we use uh, when collaborating with our American colleagues. Um, MSDI is a national enterprise GIS approach. Uh, there's no regional stream within MSDI. It's all handled at the national level. And, and the idea is, is we provide first to MSDI to provide access to as applications. And once the data is there and the web map services have been created, um, you can provide to other initiatives or even international initiatives. I would like to thank you for your time. Uh, for any questions, you can contact my director, uh, Chris Hemingway, which is Director of Hydrography and MSDI, or myself, uh, Claude Gay, Project Manager for uh, Open Government. and the MSDI at DFO. Uh, you can see the rest of our team, and we've got a generic email address that we use for everything that we do. I would like to thank you so much for your time.